S3 Meantime is getting you ready for Monday's huge total, total solar eclipse. As anticipation builds, some local universities are preparing to host eclipse watchers. And Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan has that story from Rowan. When it comes to the buildup for Monday's solar eclipse, few have had more to do than the director of Rowan University's Edelman Planetarium, Amy Barraclaw. A R R A C L. <laughs> I got your email. <laughs> it's been a day. I'm sorry. I can't even spell my own last name. <laughs> been busy lately. I have. <laughs> Barraclaw has been guest lecturing for months on solar eclipses and preparing for a big event Monday at the university to celebrate the eclipse, which has become a national obsession. Eclipses actually are not all that rare. They happen about once a year on average, um, but What's rare about this one is that it's uh, in the U.S., which has not happened um, for almost 40 years. The Edelman Planetarium, which has a 40-foot dome screen and seats about 100 people, is a great place to learn about astronomy year-round. The sun is made of six regions. This weekend, planetarium visitors wanted to learn more about what else? The solar eclipse. What are you excited about with that? Um, I've never got to see one before. That's why I'm so excited. So this is sort of the calm before the eclipse. Come Monday, Rowan expects to have more than a thousand people at their event here. They'll be doing shows starting around 1230, kids activities, and then the main event outside watching the solar eclipse. We'll be giving out 1,000 eclipse glasses um, on a first come first serve basis. Sharon Weatherby says her grandchildren are all in on the eclipse. It's great for them to experience history and things that happen. And astronomers like Bearclaw say they're more than happy to welcome eclipse lovers into new realms of learning. That opens up the, the conversation of other topics within astronomy too. So it's, it's a great teaching tool for us. At Rowan University in Glassboro, Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Well, CBS News will be broadcasting a live special report on Monday from 1 to 3 p.m. right here on CBS 3. A team of correspondents will be stationed in the path of totality where the eclipse will be in full effect. Coverage again will also be streaming live on CBSPhilly.com. So you've got to get the perfect spot, right, Chelsea? I've got my yes. glasses ready. I'm all set.